Good morning, my name is EMC Productions. Today we're gonna to be checking out what happens when a rock star joins the marching band. Tommy Lee Goes to College is a reality TV show that came out in 2005, and this was right around the time where I started to really get into marching band and drumline. So I found this show to be like quite relatable and very entertaining. But now I know all the secrets about reality TV and have a different perspective on the matter. This is Mr. Cocky. Mr. Cocky. So Tommy Lee, the drummer for Motley Crue, he goes back to school and takes part in all kinds of college shenanigans. But in this video, we will be focusing on the segments where he tried out to be in the drum line, and we're gonna see how well he adapts to the marching world. Oh, we got old school quads with no Spock drums. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you put together maybe a little uh, solo type presentation? A solo presentation? <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah, show me what you got. And I'm like, you got a drum yeah, set? Yeah, four stroke on rough. The, the quads, I haven't played those in a long time. They're so much different than a normal drum kit. You guys have put me on the spot. Oh, at least he did yeah, play quads. I, remember that. I guess he did marching band in high school for I'm a little not sure bit. I, can, I don't know what to do for a minute. Is this how you guys always tune these, or this, is this your standard tuning? Yeah, that's about right. I mean, honestly, like, drum set versus marching drums, it's, like, two completely different worlds. Like, being great at one doesn't necessarily help with being great at the other. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, they're just throwing him in there. <laughs> Yeah, anyone put into that situation would not be able to do well. Just getting thrown in there and saying, figure out the exercises that everyone else knows, that, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm sure most of you watching this channel probably know this already, but yeah, that's like not at all how drumline auditions would go in a normal situation. Yeah, in real life, like everyone in the band, they get to the school before the semester starts for the band camp, and that's usually when you'll do the auditions, maybe even like a camp before that. So everyone would show up with the music already learned, and then you go over it as a group just breaking it down bar by bar and uh yeah with this show that's like not at all how they did it and also for the solo presentation thing they did they're not going to just ask you to freestyle a solo on the spot that's another thing you would practice that on your own go in and play something that you prepared so yeah to me this is all clearly just staged for the show to make it more interesting and dramatic but hey it was really entertaining to me when i was 16 years old so i guess they did a good job <laughs> All right. Am I supposed to hang with y'all? March? Yes, so. Out here learning drill. He's still got that busted set of quads. Like, yeah. give that man some here. Spock drums. Okay. Okay, cut. Ben, try and help him get back in his pile. Let's do that one again. There's Jeremy, and then you would be right in there. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And then to the right, to the 40-yard line. Oh, he's hanging in there. He's in step Whoa. a little bit. The 45, back to the 50. is like... <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty tough one, that one. Hey, again, just throwing them in there without knowing the music. Like, nobody would be able to figure it out that way. Dude, that is so early for marching band. I wonder if that's just for the show that they changed it to <laughs> 7 in the morning. I think you already met Nate. Nate's our percussion instructor, so... Oh, cool. Uh, cool. We'll be working with him pretty closely. So if you want to just uh, grab the set and then... Uh... Nate made me a little nervous. That guy's... You can tell he's serious about it. Oh yeah, call him out, Nate. Go! <laughs> right away, we gotta know what's going on right away. Alright? Bro, get those gloves off of him. What <laughs> oh, that's so noobish. <laughs> Tommy! Oh, it looks like they gave him a Spock drum, finally. He also has that totally jacked up old carrier. Oh! Wait, he was in on that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this triplet roll was pretty good. I think he was underplaying a little, but hey, balance and blend. We're learning out here. Uh, of course, he's gonna act all mad. Yep. Tommy, you gotta know that music. Way why is the okay, why, why is the right? Spock drum just right now, over onto the one side? Doing so high. Let's run. Fly Fiesta. Oh, he's mad. I'm gonna get cut. 
Oh boy, this must have been like really interesting for the people that were in this drumline and the instructors. And I'm saying that with all this inside knowledge of how reality TV works, like all this stuff is definitely staged to make good TV. Like if they really wanted to set him up for success, they would have had him learn the music like weeks or months in advance so that he knew what he was doing when he got there. So it's pretty interesting that this band has to worry for this one week that he's in there. They have to worry about, you know, all the filming. I'm sure they have to like retake different scenes over and over again a bunch of times to get the right angles and all that stuff. Yeah, I bet the members just wanted to like actually rehearse and not worry about all that crap. Although by doing this show, there's probably a good thing from a recruiting standpoint. I'm, I'm guessing they got at least some more interest in the university. Yeah, go corn huskers. When I heard that Tommy was uh, gonna come here, so I was kind of pissed off about it, to be honest. <laughs> Cause you know, drumline here in Nebraska, we've been together for a long time. You know, having an outsider come in, it kind of ruins our vibe. And I didn't know if when Tommy comes in, he's just gonna ruin everything. I bet they told him to say that. If I was in marching band and they did this, it would be pretty cool. As wacky and goofy as it is, it, was, it would be an interesting time. I right oh, still just got one Spock. I really wasn't impressed with him at all. At least with his <laughs> initial skills. Bro, After savage. A while, I thought, I'm gonna help Tommy out just, just like any other person and try to give him all the help I can. All right, get in there, Ben. <laughs> Fix him up. He's right, kind of getting this it. Is the easiest part. We gotta make sure we got it. All right. Oh, that triple beat though. That looked kind of good. Yeah, I mean the dude's got chops for sure. Like, chops in general, they can translate from drum set to marching drums. All right, but yeah, the technique and playing together as a line—that's a that's a All whole right, different skill set. That, right? We gotta always be thinking ahead, Tommy. Tommy was really adamant about meeting up at night at the music building. He was really gung ho about learning everything. Oh, we're back to the quads. Get it down. I guess there's a lack of spocks and no. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on. He like hit the back bar because they don't everything. have a spock. Why is there a lack of spocks in Nebraska? Someone hook this man up. Cool. Yeah. What? <laughs> Just airing the spock okay, part. Okay. He said, if it takes us all night to get, you know, this one measure of music, we're gonna do it. Oh, yeah. Good attitude. Probably not real, but it's a good little message. Here mm -hmm. is your accents, like, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that's a two height technique, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably one of the biggest things when seeing, like, a drum set player versus a marching drummer is the two height technique. That's just one of the many things here that takes a lot, a lot of time in developing marching chops. If Tommy can't perform the music, he won't perform on Saturday. All right, all right. And, and even down to the wire, uh, it was, it was questionable. Uh, he's playing the notes. <laughs> Technique is pretty jacked, but that's yeah, whatever. There's still a little ways to go, but we think you can you can make it happen. So we're gonna go ahead and put you on the field tomorrow afternoon. Yay! Awesome. He did it. It was scripted, so he did it. <laughs> yes. The epic uniform montage. Oh yeah, let's go, dude. Oh, he's, oh, he's even in step. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he said he did, like, some tenors in high school. I'm sure that's helping him out at least a little bit here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's those two heights again. <laughs> yeah, it was all up, all loud. <laughs> Bro, there's so many cuts all over the place. <laughs> no, they still didn't get him a second Spock drum by the performance.
Hmm. Honestly, though, like, as far as reality TV goes, this is probably, like, the realest thing I've ever seen. I don't think they would, like, fake have an audience there or Photoshop them in like America's Got Talent did. Yeah, when I was on stage, there was no audience. That was all edited in later. But yeah, this, this seems real, though. Like, he actually went out there and played. I mean, it sounded like a really quick song, like a minute 30 seconds, and the halftime shows are, like, way longer, like, probably, like, 15 minutes. I mean, the whole setup to this point was definitely scripted, but as far as the actual performance go, this, this seemed like legit. So good job, Tommy Lee, and good job, Reality TV. I approve of this one. Okay, so then at the very end of the entire show, the sixth episode, there was this, like, concert that went all night long, and it had the drum line out there, the whole marching band. And bro, this was so disappointing to me, because you can see they have, like, a tenor set up right here in the middle for soloists, and they don't even have Tommy Lee do any kind of solo. He just kind of does this, like, skanky-poo groove for some of it. This could have been such a cool moment. Like, even though he doesn't have tenor technique, like I said before, like, he still has drum chops. He could have done some crazy things with single-stroke rolls, stick tricks, anything. Or they could have just had him play a drum set up there. That would have been pretty cool, too. I thought that was a serious missed opportunity by the show right there. Okay, well that's all I have to say about Tommy Lee Goes to College. Overall, I think it's a pretty good show. Compose a comment below if you have anything else to add to this very stimulating conversation. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider going over there to make a donation. It will help the channel out a whole lot. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt, such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.